Hi guys, I am just going to do a really quick one take video. Let me see if I can get some light here. Um, it's about a quarter after five and Pete and I have had a busy day. We took Curly to the vet this morning and Curly has just not had, has had a bad week. He hasn't eaten most of the week. He's acted like he's in pain. Um, on and off though, not all the time. Sometimes he would like lay down with his nose on the ground between his like his head down his nose down between his two front feet and then um with his back end sticking up and a lot of the times he's been laying down he's been laying with his head down and we have been at a loss anyway we got him to he had a vet appointment first thing this morning and i went with uh, pete when he took him um, and just took my computer and my phone and i answered bug calls in the car and the vet put him on a special kind of diet and said usually when they lay like that, it is a stomach stomach pain. So she put him temporarily on this special uh, diet and um, medicine and stuff. So hopefully little Curly will be back to normal before long. Um, I also got a quote for to get um, chewy neutered. So I'm going to, I meant to call today, but I, the day went by without me and I didn't do it to get him I'd like to get him in next week to get neutered um, and then the goal for our first day home was to get all the things that we could get locally and inexpensively to winterize anything that we could use to um, insulate areas like the like the um, yoga mats and stuff like that for the floors because that worked really well last year and so we ended up getting quite a few things we've also decided that where my table sits here there's this barrel chair right under it we're going to pull that out and we're going to actually install a table here and then we get a second chair a folding but comfortable chair for pete to use so he can sit at the table too and it will have to be big enough obviously for my keyboard too but Anyway, we're going to get the chair out of here and get a table that will also have a cabinet for some storage and stuff like that under it. So that is going to happen. Um, but we found big, thick uh, foam like insulation sheets of that at the thrift store. Um, we just got a bunch of stuff. We went to two restores and three thrift stores. Um... And so that's that's what's going on. Um, but we were able to get quite a bit that now we don't have to order it for new, you know, because we were able to get quite a bit of stuff from from these other places. So that's what's going on with us. I went in the house. Can you see in there? Or in the garage, actually. Uh, I looked. I was digging up all my old CDs because I've wanted. I've got a bunch of really good CDs I've bought, so um, I really wanted to get them, you know, so I could play them on the road and whatever. So I found I found a bunch of them. Between Pete and I, we have hundreds and hundreds, but I pulled out a couple dozen, maybe a few dozen. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's hard to tell and I wish I wouldn't have used like I used these cases for a bunch of them, for a bunch of them to save space but you know when you're looking for certain CDs it's a lot easier to look at the case and you know see the end of the case rather than have to pick up a that open it up and flip through so I wish I would have whatever hindsight's 2020. so that's what's going on and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow Hope everybody's got a great Hope everybody's got a great weekend planned. We do. We uh well you'll see what it is tomorrow. So I'll see you uh then. Take care. God bless and good night.